Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be going through one of Week 2's practice problems called Password. So how is this program going to work? After we run the program, our program is going to ask us to enter our password and it will check if the password requirements are met, which are at least one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, one number and one symbol. And if it fulfills all the criteria, then we want to return your password is valid. All right, so let's get started by downloading the distribution code. So here we have the distribution code and I'll just quickly run through the code, how we're gonna implement it and so on. And later on also draw out an illustration on how we're gonna solve it just for clarity's sake. For those of you who are visual learners. All right, so at the start of this program, we have our required libraries and then we have our function declaration for the valid function that we are gonna type and complete. And then we have the main function. In the start of the main function, we are asking the user to enter their password. And if the password is valid, the valid is gonna return true and it's gonna go into this if condition. And if it's not, it's gonna enter this elf condition. All right. And this valid is going to get the password given by the user. So how are we going to solve this problem? There are a few clues that are given by these problem specifications. All right. So here we can see that this valid is going to return true if it passes all the criteria false, if it doesn't. And then here you can see that they have given us some hints, two hints actually. So the first hint is that the C type library has many useful functions that can come handy here. So I'll encourage you guys to look through the C-type library and see if you guys can solve this problem in case you guys didn't notice this hint. And Boolean variables can keep track of whether each criteria in an algorithm is valid. So we'll be using both of these hints as they mentioned here because it's the most efficient way to solve this problem. And next here, they mentioned that we might want to create a Boolean variable for each and set each to false before iterating through the string. And in the implementation details, they also gave us a bunch of clues on how to solve this problem. Our function is supposed to iterate through the string and it will try to find one lowercase character, one uppercase character, one number and one symbol. And we might want to create a Boolean variable that is supposed to track the statuses of each of these requirements. And we want to set it to false before we iterate through the string and set it back to true once we have seen that our criteria has been fulfilled. So let me give you guys a quick illustration of how we're gonna solve this problem. But before that, they mentioned here to take a look at the C-type library. So let's take a look at the C-type library. As you can see here, the C-type library has a lot of useful functions and they include is digit to check if a character is a digit, is lower to check if a character is lowercase, is upper to check whether a character is uppercase, and the last requirement is to check if a character is a symbol. And I'll give you guys some time to figure out how we can do that because it's a little tricky. So if you guys solve it, uh, comment down below and uh, congrats, I guess. But I'll go into more detail in how to figure out if a character is a symbol uh, in just a bit. Here, I'm gonna do an illustration on how we're gonna solve this problem. So imagine this is the valid function, all right? Curly braces and curly braces in the end. Here we want to loop through the string passed by the user, all right? So this is the loop. And then while we are iterating through the loop, every single loop we want to index into um, a different character in the string. So as you guys know, a string is basically an array of characters and we want to iterate through the string just so that we can index into every single one of the characters, all right? After indexing into maybe the first character in our first iteration of the loop, we want to use the is upper to check if a character is uppercase, is lower, uh, to check if a character is lowercase and so on. And if they fulfill this criteria, we want to set a variable to true to let us know that we have actually met this criteria and maybe to this to true and so on all right so that's why that's how we're gonna uh, figure out this problem and if it's not very clear to you at the moment don't worry it will be clear to you as we go on 
uh, typing the code. All right. So first step, we want to iterate through the string, but to iterate through the string, we need to find the length of the string first. So int length is equals to strlen password, and strlen is in the string dot h uh, header file. All right, and then now we want to loop through the string. All right. So once we are looping through the string, we want to index into every single one of the characters and check if they meet the requirements. All right. So the requirement is is digit, is lower, is upper. All right. So something that you will notice for each of these uh, functions is that the return is a non-zero integer if it fulfills the criteria. So for example, in this case, is digit. It will return a non-zero integer if it is a digit and zero if it's not a digit. All right, that's decimal they say here. Anything but zero if it's a digit and zero if it's not a digit. And same for is lower. As you can see here, if it is a lower, then it will send a non-zero int. And if it's not a lower, then it will send a zero. And same for here is upper is going to return a non-zero int if it is an upper and zero if it's not an upper. A cool thing about C is that a boolean is true as long as it's not zero and a boolean is false when it's zero. All right, so let's start our code. We want to check is upper. So before that, we want to create variables that will be storing the status of our criteria. So like they mentioned here, we want to create a few boolean variables to store the statuses of those requirements so let's create the boolean variables bool upper requirement bool lower requirement bool digit requirement number sorry number requirement and bool symbol requirement all right and as they mentioned here we want to set them to false as a default so let's do that all right and once they fulfill the criteria of our program then we would like to set them to true and how we're gonna do that is firstly we want to check if a character is uppercase and we would only want to check if a character is an uppercase if it hasn't yet fulfilled our um, variable condition so if the upper requirement is not yet fulfilled which is basically if it's still false then we want to check if the current character is upper all right so we can check upper requirement is equals to is upper password and then we index into uh, the character all right so how am i able to do something like this i am able to do something like this because for example is upper is actually an uppercase then it will return a non-zero int and this will be set to zero so uh, maybe i can comment here upper requirement will become true if is upper returns non-zero all right as simple as that and it's the same for i can just remove this so that it can fit the screen all right so once it has become true we don't want it to check ever again so in the very beginning it will always be false and then based on what the character is it will either be true or uh, continue to remain false uh, and we want to do this similarly for the other requirements so if lower requirement is equals to false then we want to update the lower requirement uh, such that we want to check the current character in the string is lower password i all right and then same for number requirement if number requirement is equals to false then we want to update it such that number requirement is gonna equal to is digit password i and the same for symbol requirement okay so now as you can see here we don't actually have a symbol uh, requirement function here how are we gonna implement this how we're gonna implement this is that as you can see here the first function is to check whether a character is an alphabet or a number so what we can do is technically the opposite this function is going to return 0 if it's not an alpha numeric, which means that it is a symbol. Alright, so if the symbol requirement is false, we can do um, symbol 
requirement is equals to is l num password i but in this situation we want to convert it all right so this will become zero if it is not an alphanumeric which is it will become zero if it is a symbol but we want t to become one if it's a symbol so we want to convert it using this um, exclamation mark operator which is called bang in programming if i'm not wrong and yeah so this is how we do it just to wrap everything up again i'll just uh, go through um what this uh, valid function is doing again okay but before um before that let me just end off um so if upper requirement is equals to true and lower requirement is equals to true and number requirement is equals to true and symbol requirement is true if it meets all of those criteria then we want to return a true all right but if it doesn't we want to return a false all right so if it doesn't return this true it's definitely gonna return a false so now um let me just add my semicolons i'm sure i missed many of them so as you can see uh, i missed semicolon here uh, semicolon here semicolon here semicolon here semicolon here um all right so it seems to be done let me try to make password hoping for no syntax errors oh okay so um it's because i forgot to include the ctype.h all right so yeah let's add in the ctype.h and run this program again okay so it managed to build and compile and let me try it out with one of the um, passwords so dot slash password okay um, let me enter this which is supposed to be valid and hopefully it is my password is valid okay and let's enter this and it's not supposed to be valid let me run my program before that and it's not valid all right so wow awesome let me give it a quick check fifth all right so it seems to have passed all the checks i hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something if you guys did hit the like button and subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions and i'll try my best to help you guys out and see you guys on the next video bye bye